Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we are getting super up close with wolves. I've been working with wolves for over 20 years now and I've had some amazing, wonderful, privileged experiences. One of which was filming alongside this incredible wolf that you can see now that I'm showing you a clip of. Sadly, this girl is no longer with us, but did play a huge part in the reason why I love wolves so much. If you would like to watch the full video I made interacting with this lovely, lovely girl, then click the information box in the top corner now, which will take you to the video that I made with her. I've also been privileged enough to film and work alongside the UK and the world's oldest wolf. Her name was Maddie and she sadly passed earlier in the year, but not before I got these incredible, incredible film clips with her and sadly her past now brother Cozy, who was again almost the oldest wolf in the world, but he passed about six months before she did. She was an incredible wolf and right at the end, she couldn't howl anymore, she'd lost her voice, but I spent time with her, I got hands on with her and I will always, always be grateful for those incredible experiences. If you would like to watch the full film, then click in the box at the top. Also, I've made another wonderful film alongside Maddie and Cozy, her brother, which was how wolves heal themselves. And yes, dogs and wolves can, to a certain degree, heal themselves. And of course, you've seen your dog eating grass in the garden. Well, that's their way of sort of self-medicating. If you'd like to find out more about how wolves can heal themselves in the wild from ailments, then click the box at the top of the screen and that will take you to my film, which is really, really interesting about how wolves can do just that. I will always be grateful for those wonderful experiences that I've had being up close with wolves. As we know in the wild, they are so timid that you will never, ever see one. I mean, you might see one in the distance, but it's very, very rare. They certainly don't chase you or hunt you down like all the stories. So the only way I've been able to get up close with them is with captive wolves. But I will always, always consider myself to be highly privileged and I will always, always be grateful for that. And um, yes, the wolf to me is like my, my spirit animal. And in many ways, I think I'm quite similar to a wolf. I've been very, very privileged to have a wonderful relationship with the UK's most natural and wildest wolf reserve called Wolf Watch UK that is located in the Shropshire Hills. And I was asked to make them a wonderful trailer for their website. And that meant going down there and filming alongside their most beautiful wolf residences. And I got up very, very close to a North American timber wolf called Callow and we got some wonderful footage of her and also their European wolf, Anya. We got some wonderful footage of her, of course. Anya is a classic example of the wolves that used to be in the United Kingdom and also Sansa and Rickon that were their newest residents. Again, European wolves. We managed to get some wonderful footage of them. So today I would like to show you the trailer that we filmed for Wolf Watch UK. Please enjoy.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you would like to see the behind the scenes making of the trailer, then please click the box above, which will take you to our behind the scenes video where you can meet my camera lady, Agatha. And also a big thank you to Jason Quarters, who also contributed some of the footage of Mad Maddie, which we put into the trailer as well. As you can see, Maddie had a silent howl and we decided to actually keep that in the film because at her age, she had actually lost her house. It's ever so sort of heartbreaking and moving, but um, at the same time, I, I really cherish that video footage of her. Now it's very, very exciting because in the next couple of weeks, I'll be bringing you a couple of episodes on the first one is about rewilding the wolf to the United Kingdom, yes. There's a big possibility it might be happening. The wolf might be returning to the Scottish Highlands in the United Kingdom. I'm a huge wolf re rewilding fan, although I am worried that people will not care for the wolf properly when she is reintroduced to the United Kingdom. And I certainly don't want to see her being shot and persecuted, but I would very much like to see her back in the United Kingdom where she belongs. So this episode, which is going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks, I'll be talking to um, rewilding expert George Monbiot, and we'll be discussing the real possibility of the good and bad points to what will happen when the wolf is brought back in the United Kingdom. Also, I've got a very, very exciting episode coming along. Wolf Watch UK has a new wolf. Yes, isn't that exciting? And I get to film up close with this beautiful girl and I'm not going to tell you much about her right now, but you're going to find out in the next couple of weeks when I get hands on with this beautiful, beautiful lady. And thank you so much for supporting my 100,000 video, which I published this week. And I mentioned these t-shirts, if you can see them there, Animal Watch t-shirts. And I asked everybody if you would be interested in buying some merchandise based on Animal Watch. So I've had some great feedback. People have been saying that they would really like to have one of these t-shirts plus some baseball caps, maybe some backpacks, may maybe some mugs, pullovers. Can you please keep writing your comments in the forum below just to let me know exactly what you would like me to stock in the shop. I could stock wolf t-shirts as well, wolf necklaces, anything that you would like. So just tell me what you fancy and I will have a good job at seeing if I can get it into the shop. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking that button in the box down there. And if you click the little alarm bell symbol, you will be notified every single time I make a new upload and then you can watch it the day that it is out. So thank you so much for supporting Animal Watch. And remember to tune in every week where I will be making some exciting episodes on wolves, wolf dogs, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now.